What's up guys, it's your boy Damon, and welcome back to another video. So, now that we're kind of officially back, I wanted to uh, take a little bit of time and use the V word here. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, vulnerability, yes. Um, I want to take a little bit of time and be vulnerable with you guys and kind of share with you the stuff that I've been going through. Um, so maybe if you guys are going through the same thing, uh, you can kind of find solace in this that somebody else is going through it with you. Um, or, you know, maybe if you're just interested, why the hell I took a step back? Uh, we're going to talk about it. All right. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel, you guys don't really know me that well. Um, it's almost my seven year anniversary doing this. All right. I started doing this back in 2014, 2015. And in 2015, um, I ended up homeless. I was recording videos at the backseat of my car at a Starbucks. Fun story, right? Then my car got repoed. <laughs> Second part of the story. Uh, <laughs> then, fortunately, this girl I was dating at the time, she helped me get into a weekly. I was in a weekly, then eventually into an apartment uh, with no furniture. And then uh, ultimate failure, uh, you know, especially for me at the time, because what it meant to me to be a man, you know, to be a biracial black and Asian man uh, representing my Asian family that I grew up with that tells me every day that everything you do represents our family, right? And I learned how the right way to measure water in a rice cooker, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Fingers, okay? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, I ended up moving back in my, with my mom, right, at 30. And at 30 years old, um, to me, that couldn't have been a bigger failure than... I mean, there couldn't have been a bigger failure, to be honest to me at the time, because it was so shameful. Right. Uh, like what what do you say as a parent? You know, when somebody's asking you about like, yeah, damn, yo, your son's like 55 years old living at home. What the fuck? Right. Like, how do you justify that? So the thing that got me was the burden that I was putting on my mom at the time, again, seven years ago um, to kind of take care of a grown ass man. OK, uh, so that's something that I went through now. Also. Because of that and a lot of other instances in my life, like when I was younger, you know, I was in a gang and, you know, uh, my teachers would tell me things like, I don't know why you come to my class. You're not going to graduate anyway. You're probably not going to be alive till you're 21, you know, <laughs> and things like that. Uh, so from all of these little instances, I kind of developed this chip on my shoulder where I had to prove to the world that they were wrong and that I would be something someday. And that drive um, kind of pushed me uh, a lot because there's nothing that motiv still kind of motivates me now than somebody telling me I can't do something, right? <laughs> it's it's something that has, has been a blessing and a curse to me uh, throughout my life. Um, however, uh, what that has led to over the course of my career is a lot of external validation seeking. Okay, so let me, let's continue the story. So fast forward uh, over the course of the years, um, you know, I've had a lot of success on YouTube in terms of like my first brand deal was a two thousand dollar deal, um, you know, supporting a game. I started I remember when my first year that I made forty thousand dollars, I was super excited. Right. Crazy. It took me a few years to get to that point. Um, then uh, with my blow up a couple years ago with Genshin Impact, when we went from 60, I think I was at like 68,000 subscribers. We jumped from 68 to like 150K in like a month. It was crazy. Uh, I, th I remember that month on YouTube alone, I made $42,000. So that month alone, I made more than I made in the whole year, like that previous year. Now that brought a unique set of challenges and, and new circumstances. The benefits of that was that my mom was sleeping on a mattress on the floor. We lived in the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was able to get us out the hood, have us looking good. You know, got her a bed. And, you know, now she's she's comfortable. Uh, eventually retired my mom. You know, things were good. But from that, though, I started to find or shift my value, especially because I never had money before. I started to shift my thoughts and my values to Object, objects, right? Externals where my value as a man wasn't determined by who I am as a man. It was determined by the stuff that I could buy or afford, right? The amount of views that I was getting every single day. And I started to notice that I was emotionally attached to how many views I was getting, 
how much money I was making, how much money was coming in, because that was my new way to show people that I'm valuable, like love me, you know, appreciate me. This is what I have. Right. Instead of this is who I am. This is what I've been through. And this is what I'm contributing as value to to myself as a person and also to you. And so from that, that was the start. Uh, I kind of find I kind of found uh, equal success uh, with New World just because we were making just so many videos and stuff. And granted, I was still enjoying it, but it was still just about the numbers. Um, there were some recent events uh, that happened in my life. Uh, almost died from COVID in January. Uh, grandma, you know, with cancer, she's still fighting stage four, right? So dealing with that and having to really position myself mentally and emotionally, physically, spiritually for the blowback that's going to happen when my grandma passes away. Like I had this conversation with my daughter uh, the other day and I was like, well, you know, toots, I like we need to be ready for, you know, when when Bachan, when she passes away, because it's going to hit my mom hard, you know, and I don't know how my mom is going to handle that emotionally. So I got to, you know, I got to be there. I got to be strong. I got to be stable. I got to be mentally. I got to be emotionally ready. The key things like these massive events in my life had had me really start to question why. Um, a question that I haven't really asked myself in a long time, right? Because I've been trying to fill this hole that that I had in my life with the next new game, the next big product, uh, the, the next amount of however many videos I needed to make to, you know, have that comfort or define my new definition of what it meant to be to be a man. And, um, and from that, I lost myself in the process. And so the result of that, Telling you guys that I'm taking a step back today was kind of not, I won't say really the end point, but on the back end of that, there's been a lot of events that have been leading up to this point that have had me really questioning, uh, asking myself some really strong key questions like, are you done playing video games? Um, is there something more that you could be doing? Um, why aren't you happy? Why is it so hard for you to get up every day and just make a goddamn video, dude? <laughs> like just a lot of key stuff that I'm still asking myself today. And this is a process that's ongoing. And basically what it boiled down to was I don't like myself. Right. And this is kind of like a hard thing for me to say, because it's just like that's the biggest thing that I've been struggling with is not being happy with me. Don't get me wrong. I've been super excited about the externals. Like the externals have been great. Like my equipment and stuff and all this crap that I've bought. Like it's amazing. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, I got nothing to complain about. I'm extremely grateful for that. I'm extremely grateful for the stuff that I've been able to get from my family and my loved ones. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, it comes full circle because everything starts with me. So I had to really take a hard look at myself and I realized that I lost touch with why I started to do this whole thing in the first place. I started doing YouTube because I wanted to help people. I wanted to come from a place of compassion from the pain that I went through and I wanted to share that and give that motivation to people so people could see that as I made it through hurdles, blocks, whatever, if my old ass with my receding hairline, missing tooth, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I could do it, you could do it too, kind of deal. And from that enjoyment of the process, like, I wanted to share that journey with people to so they can unwind. And that was one less roadblock that they had to have when they got off of work or dealing with their shitty job or shitty relationship or whatever was going on in their life where they can come home unplug and not have to deal with the BS because yo DK made a video yo I was having issues with that and now I can move past that and just focus on doing what I like to do and that was a big part of me and I feel like I really disconnected from that passion uh, of creation and finding joy in what I do because I've been so obsessed with the numbers so as my numbers started to drop, which they have, you know, it is what it is. Then I felt my personal value was dropping as well because I equated success to or and my value as a man, essentially, to the result of my content. <laughs> and it's a super it's been a super toxic way to live. So I had to take a way to take a step back, unplug, uh, reconnect with why I'm doing what I'm doing and focus on the enjoyment that I had 
with it instead of it just being a job and things that I do every day or X amount of videos that I need to produce. And so it was kind of crazy because uh, I've been playing a lot of Banner Lords online and I've been enjoying it a lot because it has nothing to do with anything, right? It's just, I've just been having fun. And kind of sitting in that feeling, that Zen moment where I was looking at the enjoyment that I was having and I was like, oh, this is actually what it's about right here because I'm having fun. And there was this part in the game where I, <laughs> this is quest in this online mod. It basically turns a single player game to an MMO, right? And this quest is so hard. Like it took me six days to beat it, right? I finally beat that shit and it felt so good that I wanted to take that experience and share that with people, right? And then that was my aha moment. I was like, okay, this is why I started creating content in the first place. And so from that, um, it kind of took everything full circle with thinking about everything that was going on in my life. And I want to get to kind of a happy medium where I can still enjoy everything that I, that, that it is that I do. Well, not everything, obviously, right? Cause it's life, but I enjoy the stuff that I play and then I share that with you. That's it. Plain and simple A to B. <laughs> and I really had to look at, okay, look, I don't like myself right now. What don't I like about myself? I'm like, all right, look, I'm fat as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I've been ignoring myself. I haven't been keeping my word to me for the past two years. I've been telling myself every day that I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to do my thing and I haven't been doing it. And every day that I don't keep my word to myself, you know, self-confidence just goes and value just goes down the toilet. Right. So a lot of this whole process for me has been like really reconnecting with the joy of creation and also with the joy of being vulnerable, not just with you guys, but with myself, being honest with myself and really getting to a place where I can give myself permission to like myself and then find that joy, not just externally in like finding the hottest game or the next big game or whatever the hell to numb myself out, but to embrace everything that's going on, um, take responsibility for what I'm doing and then change it. <laughs> so, um, there, this is, there's this quote that has been really kind of like messing me up, uh, really for the past couple of weeks. And it was like, it, it talked about, you don't hear a tree grow or, you know, or seed grow or however it works. Cause like creation is silent, right? You just do it. <laughs> And people will see that, it, you know, see, they'll see the growth. Right. Um, so a lot of it is, is really just been like, all right, D shut the fuck up. Tell yourself you're going to do it and just do it every day. That's it. So that's what I'm working on now. So I'm not going to tell you guys about no crazy workout plan or nothing because I've been there, done that. We've been there, fat dad, fit dad. We've been there with other videos before. Um, now it's just a matter of taking action, right? Uh, what you guys can expect from me from here on out in terms of content is I'm only going to be playing shit that I enjoy. All right. There's not really much that I'm enjoying right now other than Banner Lord online. Um, I don't know where I'm at with New World right now. I'm waiting for the update. They confirmed that the 3v3 PvP was next month. Um, so definitely going to be checking that out. I will be checking out the Lance Master and Lost Ark in a couple days. But if that doesn't fall through, I can't say for sure that I'm even going to be playing Lost Ark anymore. Uh, what I can tell you is there's probably going to be more motivational content or like I was thinking of doing stuff like Monday motivation or stuff like that to just um, kind of get off the game topic and talk about some stuff that like really matters to me in terms of personal growth and development. Um and obviously we're still going to continue to play video games like that's never going to go anywhere. Um, so the biggest thing right now is just. I don't know, having fun. <laughs> now, what that's going to do, I don't know. Uh, the biggest enjoyment for me right now is just the little successes that I'm having every day. Like, like I'm going to hang on my pull-up bar for 10 seconds, right? And, like, at first, I couldn't do it. Like, I was only getting, like, three, four seconds. I'm fat as fuck, right? <laughs> we hit 10 seconds the other day, right? And that's exciting to me because telling myself I'm going to do it and then doing it has been the biggest joy that I, I that I've that I've had uh, personally 
um, just kind of going through this whole process. So we're going to continue with that. And, you know, that is um, probably the next chapter of my channel is really just keeping my word to myself. Right. And then, of course, uh, sharing content with you guys that I find joy in doing and joy in creating. If I don't like it, I won't put it out. <laughs> Plain and simple. So anyway, guys, um, I know this is probably a lot. Um, I don't know what you guys are expecting, um, but this is uh, it's me, man. All here, raw, real. I uh, just wanted to just kind of share this with you guys and let you guys know what I'm going through right now. Um, and just continue to work on for me. So if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. And uh, I'll be happy to assist. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.